Season of Arrivals has arrived. It's here, we're playing it, we like it. Let's talk about it. The Almighty has been reduced to smoldering ash. Now, I've criticized Destiny quite a lot in recent times. Season 11 has undoubtedly given me some hope that the future of Destiny is bright. Bungie kept the content of Season 11 a total secret until the very last day and all at once revealed a huge amount of detail surrounding not just Season 11 but also what's coming in September. They created a very good amount of hype, rightfully so, that got the entire community very excited about what's coming. That in turn generated a good vibe with the release of Season 11, which has meant players are once again very happy to be playing Destiny. Either that or the last few seasons were so terrible that the season of Arrivals has just come and totally saved the entire game. It has been some time since we had such a positive start to a season in Destiny. Most of the seasons since Shadowkeep launched have been pretty bland with some exceptions. Season of Arrivals brings back the darkness and all the mysteries that surround it. We start with a couple of new missions. These seem to lay the foundation to what's to come. They're not very long missions, but they certainly put us back on track in terms of story and mystery. I enjoyed every minute of it. It had been so long since I had played a good, engaging, brand new story mission in Destiny. We've been a little bit spoiled as well. New engrams have been introduced. They're called Umbral engrams, and these are most definitely very welcome. They can only be decrypted by the Drifter's re cast a machine thingy and we can now focus the decryption into gear we actually want. If you want a weapon, if you want a piece of the new armor or one of the gambit weapons, you can tweak the engram so it gives you what you prefer. It's awesome and I'm pretty sure this method of decryption is here to stay. Now there has been some rather funny issues because a huge amount of players decided to grind the forges AFK to get these engrams. If you don't know what that means, you basically load into a forge, you don't do anything, you die, forge completed, engrams spawn, reloads automatically and you rinse and repeat. Players used to do this to farm materials a while back but now they're using the method to level up their light level. Now in all fairness, if there is an exploit that allows you to level up easily, most players are going to do it. Especially if they don't don't have lots of time to grind and play the game. There was a statistic that was released that showed 63% of all activities completed in Destiny in the previous 10 hours were failed <laughs> forges. This is quite funny. I'm sure Bungie will get this fixed. I think they need to, or at least I hope so. Moving on, we got a new public event. It is called Contact. Uh, it's on IO and Titan. I believe it will be on a rotational basis weekly. It is another horde mode, but it's very simple, easy going and actually quite a lot of fun to play. You kill stuff, bank moats until the big bad boss spawns. That's that's it. That's pretty much it. I really like it. Bungie also gave us a brand new dungeon. No one seemed to be expecting that one. Admittedly, I have not played it yet because I'm not high level enough, but everyone seems to love it. From the clips I've seen, it does look pretty awesome. I'm hoping to try it out quite soon once I get my light level a bit higher up. A new exotic grenade launcher, which has pretty much broken the game, is also free to all players that own the season pass. It's called the Wither Horde. I love it. I use it for everything now. You can pretty much melt everything with this thing, but I am pretty sure Bungie will be patching it very quickly, so make the most of it while you can. There were quite a lot of sandbox changes. It buffed bows, slug shotguns, and high impact 
pulse rifles. Lots of perks also got buffed, whilst other perks got nerfed. In the name of ballads, I welcome these perk changes. And in the name of new meta and staleness of the game, I welcome these changes to the weapons also. I got the Trinity Ghouls Catalyst to drop on my very first strike after the update, and my god, this bow is OP as hell now. Quite possibly the best ad clearing weapon in the game, and I love it. I'm so glad that finally bows are meta, of a certain kind, that is. Last but not least, skill based matchmaking has been removed. No one was expecting that one. Most hardcore players are extremely happy about that because they can now jump into the crucible and play against much worse players than them. This allows them to absolutely destroy people, makes them feel better about themselves I guess. To be fair, this is a weird one for sure. I've tried it out and it's 50-50 for me. Some games I get totally annihilated and other games I do okay. But it seems a bit unbalanced now that this has been changed. We'll see how it evolves in the next few weeks. I do definitely believe that we're on the right track. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. See you soon. Goodbye.